Greetings all, Joseph Kursky here. Welcome to Cartographic Design. Greetings folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about week nine in our cartographic design course. It's gonna be a, a mappy time, it's gonna be a grand time. I hope it's valuable and useful for you all. And this is a deeper dive into symbols and design. You may say, hey, Joseph, haven't we talked about symbols for several weeks now? Well, yes, but remember, maps are representations of reality. We can't make a map at one-to-one -one scale. We have to use symbols, and it, I think it's worthwhile to delve into a bit deeper of a dive in symbology. So we're going to do that. We're also going to dig deeper into design best practices we're going to look at design as planning and building. We're going to do, look at design as a final map product. We're going to look at design as the organization of a map, style, taste, emotional impact, all of that sort of thing in our design discussion this week. Folks, in our hands-on work this week, week nine, we are going to create and symbolize a thematic map in ArcGIS Pro. Remember, Pro has a lot of cartographic capabilities. And so does ArcGIS Online, but Pro has even more. Oftentimes, in conjunction with that, people take their output from their GIS software and they actually put it into or export it into something like Adobe Illustrator for even further cartographic enhancement. We'll talk about that briefly, but time doesn't permit us in this course to actually do that, but just recognize that that's one of the practices that's out there. So... This week, week nine, is all about design and symbolization. Thanks. I don't want to spoil this web map, so I'll go. I would hate my disappointment to show. My map is in the cloud. My mom, she is so proud. All right, we'll see you in week nine. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>